Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you the viral single layer makeup trend. I can't believe it. I did not think that this was going to be as big of a deal as it was, but I posted this video here on shorts along with my Instagram and TikTok and it went viral. I kept seeing this all over social media and I was like, I want to try it for myself. It exploded on my social platforms, totaling over 5 million views and counting, which is crazy to me, but also not too crazy because this trend is so easy to do. It's foundationless, doesn't take many products, and it looks really Really cool while you're doing it. So I'm going to take you step by step and how I achieve this look. Also going to share with you in this video how you can tailor this trend to your specific skin type. This is so us. Simple, easy makeup. Let's go. Just a quick disclaimer. I love to talk if you can't already tell. So if that bothers you and you just want to see the nitty gritty, I have a timestamp just for you in the description box. You can click on it and we'll get started with the makeup. You know, I think it would be beneficial if you just listen to my ramblings. I think it could help, maybe. Anyway, if I haven't said it enough, skincare base. If you wanna do this trend, you gotta make sure you are starting with a good skincare base. You need three things for a good skincare base. Moisturizer, eye cream, and sun protection. Today, I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to remove sun protection out of this because it's nighttime. I don't need no sun protection right now. Please don't come for me and say that the moon gives you sun rays or whatever because y'all, don't, don't, be, don't be doing this. I'll let the moon burn my skin. I'm starting out with this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I love this stuff for a good moisturizer, especially underneath makeup. It gives the skin like a really beautiful dewy look. I would say 100% that this moisturizer is good for all skin types. Dry, oily combination. I have combination skin. We're gonna go ahead and put on an eye cream now. I kind of did this backwards. I'm supposed to put the eye cream on first, but we'll be okay. This is the Caudalie Brightening Eye Cream. This is beautiful stuff. I love Caudalie products. They're a staple. I don't know if I've ever shared this with you guys, but I had really bad skin. Before I started making YouTube videos, well, actually like, Ironically, when I went to aesthetic school, I entered in my terrible cystic acne phase. It was horrible. I'll probably have to do a separate video for you guys to show you guys how I combated that, how I got out of that. But it was so ironic because growing up, I never really had skin issues. As soon as I went to school for skincare, I ended up getting really bad skin. I did not take a lot of pictures of myself during that season of my life because I was so embarrassed and even more embarrassed because I was going to school to teach people how to have clear skin and I had such bad skin. That was a short season of my life, but I learned how to take care of my skin and I'm grateful. And now here we are. One thing that has contributed to me having better skin is to take care of my skin before I put on makeup. And that's why I stress on this channel having a good skincare base. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Well, not quite. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my mascara first. It looks so much better when you do your eyebrows and mascara first. I'm taking the spoolie from the Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil. Crap, I grabbed the wrong thing. I'll make it work. It's not what I usually use. I don't hate the pencil, it's just not my favorite. Some people really swear by pencils, eyebrow pencils. If that's you, go for it. We're in the color five with this brow pencil. At least that's what I'm doing right now with my hair being so dark. All right. I think that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm doing very light. I'm gonna go in with the tinted brow gel from Benefit as well. And I believe this is in the color five. All the writing has completely come off of it. I love this stuff. It's gonna help those brows stay in place at the same time, add a little bit more of a tint. Super helpful if you have very sparse looking brows or patchy brows, at least in my opinion, it works for me. That is the brows, they are done. Now we're gonna do mascara. Switching it up today, I usually always do my L'Oreal Telescopic. You guys know how much I love that. But I'm actually using the Limit Lash Mascara from Ilia. I really, really love this brand. And I like how easy this mascara is to wash off. My lashes are doing good right now. I've been using the Grande Lash Serum on them for the past like three months since I had baby girl. And my lashes are giving. I can use other mascaras because my lashes are a good size right now. I'm really, really happy about that. I really hated looking like Kermit the Frog all throughout my pregnancy because that baby girl that I was growing inside of me took all of my growing hair abilities, I tell you. She has so much hair. She has the longest eyelashes. It's insane. I'm like, good go baby girl. I'm so happy she got that. But in the meantime, I was struggling because I had nothing. And you can't use like the lash serums and stuff while you're pregnant. At least you shouldn't. Yeah, so. I'm glad to not be struggling anymore. Brows and lashes are done. Let's finally get into the nitty gritty. First things first is we're gonna do concealer. I have been loving this concealer from Joa Beauty. It's the Hydrating Eye Serum Concealer. The reason why I love this so much is because it has peptides in it, especially if you have skincare issues or if you're breaking out, this is really good for your skin. This works for all skin types. It is not a full coverage concealer. I will list in the description box a full 
coverage concealer that I really love using and that I think would be great if you have more problematic skin and you want to cover a little bit more. In this makeup trend, there is no foundation needed. So if you want that extra protection, either apply a foundation before you do the single layer makeup trend or get a thicker coverage concealer. And I will link that all below. I'm gonna apply it right in here. Hold on, I need to. Do I need to bring you in? Yeah, I gotta bring you in. I didn't want to, but I have to. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it in here. I'm very generous with this because we're not using foundation. I apply it over here, bridge nose, kind of like a V there. Here, here. This is to help define my, my face. I've got a little blemish here, so we're gonna swipe that. And then I have a little sunspots here, we'll swipe that. Then I have some stuff over here. So that's one. Now we're gonna do the bronzer. I really love this bronzer from NYX. It's the NYX Wonder Skin Bronzer. It takes a little bit more effort to blend than some other high-end bronzer sticks, but right now, I'm digging it. I like how sharp it is. We're gonna put this right here because this is the contour line I like. I like to really emphasize my natural contour line because you see when I do this, where does it go? It goes right there. For me, makeup has always been working with your natural, not creating something new. I'm gonna put my bronzer up here. We'll do a little zigzag for fun because it really doesn't matter what shape, whatever you draw, like you're gonna blend it anyway. Go in with the nose. Careful with this one. I'm gonna button out this nose. I love doing button noses. It's just, that's fun for me. Emphasize the chin and the jawbone. We're gonna turn this stick around and we're gonna use the highlighter part, which is so cool that it has this. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight underneath my brow mainly. So right where I have that little button, I'm gonna put it there, put it over my Cupid's bow, and that is it. Now we're gonna move on with blush. I'm going through this really fast. Okay, we're using the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. This is in the color pink. I believe this is a special edition Disney. Any of the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands work just fine. They're beautiful. Find a shade that looks right for you. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right where I would do my blush. I want this to really pop. We're gonna be generous. Now you have the single layer makeup on. This is what you do next. You're gonna apply a setting spray. This setting spray I'm gonna use is the Smashbox Photo Finish Endurance Breathable Setting Spray. I really have been loving this. I'm gonna apply this all over my skin and I'm not gonna let it dry. Key is to work in the product immediately after you spray so that you have something nice and damp to work with. I kind of like to start in the corner of the eye and then work out this. Making sure your face is kind of damp from that setting spray is super important to making this a lot easier to work with. When I have done this trend without using a setting spray, I can still blend the makeup in, but it's not as easy. It takes a lot longer of a time to do. And don't be afraid, if you need to use more setting spray, use more setting spray. Dampen that face a little bit more if you feel like you're having a harder time blending. If you don't like setting sprays for whatever reason, you find like it's just too much, use a facial spray. I love using the Caudalie Facial Mist, especially during the day when I'm doing this look because it gives a really nice and light finish. It feels like just like skincare. It doesn't feel like makeup. It's not very heavy. Sometimes setting sprays can be really heavy, but Sometimes I like really heavy, especially if I'm going out on the date night or something, you know? Or I'm going for more of a glam look and I want the makeup to have more of a stick to it. Another thing I wanted to mention is that everybody's face shape is different, right? You can find out the specific makeup placement where you want your bronze or your blush to complement your face shape. There's ways that you can go and figure that out. Even after going to school for makeup, I still had to figure out what worked good for my face and I found that this is what I like because also, not always what people recommend to be good for your face is what you like for your face. So you're gonna have to figure that out if you haven't already. And once you do, you'll be so happy because you'll know exactly where you wanna put everything. And that will make this process even easier because it's just like, bam, 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 bam. My face is getting a little bit dry. I'm gonna add another layer of setting spray to finish out this last part of the look. That's why the face is drying, because I'm talking way too much. Usually it only takes one spray and I'm good. We're just gonna keep blending all over to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Like I've said in a lot of my videos, when in doubt, blend it out. Blending is your best friend. You really can't go wrong in the makeup world if you know how to blend. Another thing that I want to mention, you wanna make sure that the beauty blender is not too wet, because the makeup will just run off and look really splotchy. This beauty blender is kind of dry. It's very slightly wet. If you just wanna take some setting spray and spray your beauty blender or a facial mist and spray your beauty blender, that's gonna be better than you actually taking it to the sink and wetting it. I probably should have mentioned that before I started blending to help you out, but 
hopefully the tip still applies and you haven't started your makeup yet. Double and triple check to make sure you are all blended out. Take a mirror, make sure you look underneath your chin, make sure you look in all the places because we don't want you going out not blended, girl. We, that's not a cute look. And again, for good measure, just go over with the beauty blender. There you have it. Look at this. I, I love this so much. I feel so confident with this. This was so easy. If you have oily skin, at the end of this, I would probably add in a translucent powder to set. Joa Beauty has a really good translucent powder. I will link it below for you guys. If you have combination skin like me, you can just do everything like I did and you will be golden. This stays on my face all day. I have no problems. If you have dry skin, your best friend is gonna be making sure you have applied moisturizer. Honestly, this look is great for people with dry skin because you're using all cream-based products. That is a big thing. So you really don't have to worry too much if your skin is dry. I know I touched on it a little bit before if you have problematic skin like acne, acne prone, or you have a lot of blemishes. Two things, either apply a foundation because you want that fuller coverage. So apply a foundation as your base. And then two, you wanna use color correcting concealer. That's what I would do if I was doing someone else's makeup. That's what I've done in the past. You can still take advantage of this makeup look, this application process. Process. I really love this look. I hope that you guys do too. I hope that you were able to find something helpful from this video. I hope that you'll be able to successfully achieve the trend yourself, that it will be something that you enjoy just like I do because it's everything that I could want and more in a makeup look. And I'm really glad that I stumbled across this trend and I'm really happy that I tried it out for myself. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more content like this. I just realized something. This is the last year of 2023. No. Okay, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> no, this is the last video that I'm making in 2023, which is wild. I can't believe that it's already end of 2023. I wanna thank you guys for an amazing and incredible year. Here on YouTube, I grew exponentially thanks to you guys. So I wanna thank you for sharing my videos, for commenting on my videos, for subscribing. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. There's great things coming for 2024 and I can't wait to share it with you. I am so excited to take you on this journey with me and <laughs> massive thank you to you for all of your support. I love you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.